Today, we are going to be going over Metasploitable and how to exploit it, different things you can do, um, yeah, pretty much just hacking Metasploitable, which is pretty simple because it is made to be hacked. So just going to show you guys the basics, how to get everything set up, uh, things like that. Let's get into it. So right here, we have Kali and we have Metasploitable. But you may be asking, how did you get here? Good question. I am using VirtualBox to get there. Just download Kali, download uh, Metasploitable 2, boot them up in there, and then start them. You can get Kali from here. Uh, just search Kali download. Get Metasploitable from here. Source Forge, download, put it in there. It The website looks sketchy, but I promise you it's not. Uh, this is where I got Metasploitable when I took um, Intro to Cyber in college. So, not sketchy, I promise you, even though it looks sketchy. You're going to boot up Metasploitable. Uh, username and password is msfadmin. Then you're going to do a little IP config, get the IP address, and that's all you're really going to do for MS, uh, for Metasploitable. You're just going to need the IP address. You're not going to really be doing anything in the command line, on Metasploitable at least. But in Kali, let's open up a terminal to ping Metasploitable, which, if I can read this IP address, it's extremely tiny. Um, let me see. Okay, reachable. Now we're gonna do nmap, so. Capital A, I think. Yeah, so pretty much as you can see from this nmap scan, um, lots of open ports. And the one that we are looking at today is SSH, right? So, now that we know SSH is open, port 22, which, duh, it would be open. Let's, oh, it's still scanning. Well, we know. We know it's all open. Pretty much all of the ports are open. Now that we know that, shout out to my handy dandy blog post that I wrote. We can SSH in a Metasploitable uh, using an SMB vulnerability with this command right here. Shout out my website, HiveMind Security. Check it out. So, we'll copy this. Do do do. Paste. Are you sure you want to continue connecting? That's always a yes during these things. Oh, I have to type the full yes. And the password, M S F admin. And we're in. And to confirm, wow. M S F admin, we're in, we've breached the firewall. Glasses, hacker voice, hood, we've got them. Now that we've breached the firewall, not that we've actually breached the firewall, but that's what hackers say. We can do different privilege escalation techniques. Privilege escalation techniques that I'm using are on GTFO. Beyonds. <laughs> Which is a curated list of Unix binaries that can be used to bypass local security restrictions and misconfigured systems. Which Metasploitable is extremely misconfigured, so it's good for that. One of them we can try is sudo ftp. To do this, and y'all can follow along if you want to at home, we do sudo ftp.
So now that we're in, now we just write a little shebang. So exclamation point slash bin slash sh a little shebang and we're in again who am i we're root which means we dominated this vm which means we're admin which you want to get if you're hacking hacking if you're doing CTFs. So a little trick, once we're root, we can now go to slash Etsy or slash ETC, however you pronounce that. Shadow. We are going to change directory to ETC or Etsy or however you pronounce it, etc. Maybe not Etsy, like the shop, but y'all know what I mean. Then we're going to look for the shadow file, the cat shadow. And then once we've catted shadow, which means we're reading it, root. That's the password hash for root. Now, I could go in there and edit the shadow file and change the root password hash. Um, to a, my own hash and then lock the person out and then just, you know, just pwn the entire thing, but that's for another video. This is just like basics. So, just a little trick for you. This is the root hash. So yeah, that was just a quick little video on some stuff you can try. Uh, play around with Metasploitable. Let me know what you do. Uh, comment some other projects in the comments so we can knowledge share, give people other ideas of what to do, things like that. But yeah, just to like a quick and easy, simple setup. Hope you guys got something out of that and let me know how you do.